Hey guys, how's it going? This is 8-Bit Zero, or Zero Res, from the 8-Bit Gamers. Today, we're going to be doing a Let's Play of a game called Block Story. Now, this is a really cool game that I found on the App Store. Um, I, I went in and uh, played a little bit. I didn't really do much. I just kind of did some stuff on Creative earlier, and I thought the game was really cool. So, I wanted to do a Let's Play of it for you guys and uh, see what we can get done. So let's make a new world here. Um, let's just call it Zero Res, because that's me, you know. Um, here we go. Sorry about the game. The video might be a little bit laggy right now. Uh, sometimes the recorder lags the game. Um, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, I'm doing the best that I can to make it good. Um, let's rename, make a new character. Yeah, so one feature in this game is you can make different characters, and each character you can do different things with. Um, so I found out that as you, as you go and do stuff in the game, like mining and other stuff like that, you can actually level up your character. Um, there's also little ads. See that hint there? It says you can search for a lost underwater world in deep waters. Um, what that means is there's like different secret places. Um, that sounds to me kind of like Atlantis. Um, so maybe, maybe in a later video, once I've, uh, got some stuff done, I'll be able to, uh, go and look for that for you guys. Um... And I think it would be really cool to find the Lost World of Atlantis, don't you? Anyways, as I was saying, um, so you can level up your character, and then once you get levels for your character, you can, for each level, you get a skill point, and you can put the skill point into all these different skills, which is kind of nice. It's better than Minecraft, in a way, uh, because with that way you can improve things. You can improve, like sword damage, um, oops, screen turned off, uh, you can improve sword damage, you can improve your, um, walking speed, arrow damage, uh, one unique thing about this game, first of all, is there's quests, uh, as you saw just there, um, the quests, if you look at them, you can, uh, accept different quests from uh, friendly mobs, and then you can go and complete the quests. I'm not exactly sure what you actually get from the quests. Um, all right, so let's let's take a look around. Uh, so I have the graphics on fairly low right now, uh, but as you guys can see, it actually it still looks really nice. Um, I had to turn the graphics down because sometimes it slows down the game. Um, okay, so basically, if you want to break a block, you just kind of touch your finger to the block and uh, hold it down, and that'll uh, that'll break the block. Um, up in the up in the which one is it? Left hand corner. Yeah, up in the left hand corner, you can see a uh, a little ring that kind of fills up as you're holding things down. That's a little timer. Um, that's a little timer, and I kind of like that because it shows you uh, exactly how long it's going to take your block so you uh, aren't just idly waiting. So let's get some wood here, uh, start getting ready for the story. Um, as you can see, the the art on the trees and stuff it's all it's all actually really good looking uh which is another which is another reason this game really impresses me um is just what they've done with the art um another thing i'm really sorry you guys can't hear it right now uh sometimes the sound when i'm recording just turns itself off but the game also has a really nice soundtrack um okay got that tree Let's go see if I can find another tree. Here we go. So I'm just going to kind of play it like Minecraft. I know it's not Minecraft, but I'm going to kind of play it like Minecraft. Start out just getting some 
general resources and uh, stuff like that. Um, just kind of, uh, you know, the normal start out. Oh, get in the tree. Oh, that's that's too high up for me to reach. Uh, so another thing that's unique about this game, um, another thing that's unique about this game that I really like is the uh, the fly. Um, see that little button over on the side that look kind of looks like a wing. Uh, that's the that's the fly function. And even though this is survival mode, I can still use the fly function. Um, see those little jars? Here we go. I'm gonna fly up, and I'm gonna get that block of wood. Get it? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Got it. All right. So you guys see that those uh, three little jars down at the bottom? That's my mana. In this game, you have mana as well as health. Uh, which means that they actually have magic in the game. Uh, the basic magic that you can get, that you can use, is uh, the fly, um, which is really useful if you want to travel places quite quickly, um, or if you want to reach hard to reach places. Another thing that I've discovered you can do with it is if you're up on the top of something that's relatively tall. If you turn on your fly and then jump off, it uh, slows your descent so that you don't take fall damage when you land. Um, Alright, so we've got some water here. I actually really like how the water looks. And another thing I like about this game is, I guess I'll have to show you, you guys this later, but at night you can see that a lot of, uh, a lot of the blocks in this game are actually luminescent, which I thought was really cool. Uh, so the jump, the jump is down, it's its own button, it's down on the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, and, ooh, what's that, squid? I think I saw a squid. Yes, yes it is a squid. I'm gonna go punch the squid. Okay, so... Here's the squid. It's trying to attack me, but I'm not in the water, so it can't really do much to me. Um, so I'm putting my finger on the screen. You can't see it, but I'm uh, holding it down on the squid. And what that does is it's just going to keep attacking the squid. See, there, minus four damage. Uh, punching in this game doesn't really do all... It doesn't do almost any damage at all. Um, but you can craft different weapons... Uh, you can have bows, you can have magic, you can have swords, you can have guns in this game, actually, and you can, and those all do a lot more damage than punching, so, I would, uh, ooh, cave there, I might go explore that later, um, I think I would, I would probably kill that squid, but it would take a long time, um, so, ooh, Looks like it might be getting dark. Um, and it's raining. So I kind of want to get out of this storm. Um, I'm going to find somewhere to uh, make a nice little house cave thing. And uh, just kind of tunnel into this hill here and uh, wait out the night uh, in classic Minecraft fashion. Uh, because I'm not so sure, I haven't played this game at all, so I don't really know what happens at night in this game. I'm not sure of the mobs or stuff that appear at night in this game, so um, I'm just going to kind of play it safe, uh, tunnel into the hill, and uh, wait it out, see if I can uh, find, see if I can find some uh, resources to mine and collect while I'm here, um, and also do a little bit of crafting. <sighs> okay, so, let's kind of, uh, extend my roof out a little bit here. Do, 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 do. Once again, I apologize for the lag. I turned down the graphics quality 
to uh, to try and uh, speed the game up. Um, it's still kind of lagging, and we might have some pieces that are some chunks that are slow to render. So I apologize for that. Um, all right, so let's kind of head in here. Uh, ceilings kind of low, but. You know, it's cozy. It's a it's a cozy little cave. Uh, classic cozy Minecraft cave. Okay, let's make it a little bigger here. Looks to me looks like I found uh, some stone that's gonna be useful. I think most of the stuff that I'm gonna be doing early on in this game is gonna be made out of stone. Most of my tools and weapons, because I've heard that uh, I've heard that. Um, iron and other minerals such as that are fairly hard to come by in this game. Um, but hopefully I can stumble across a lot of it. Uh, that would be really nice. Alright. So, just kind of, uh, ooh, it's not going dark nearly as quickly as I thought it was. Uh, must just be the storm. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take some wood. Uh, kind of like Minecraft in the sense that you can uh, you can take your wood blocks and uh, place them in the um, crafting section. Actually, one thing that I do prefer about the Minecraft Pocket Edition is that all you have to do is have the resources and then it will craft them for you. You don't actually have to stick them in the right places, if you know what I mean. Um, so I'm just gonna make some planks. Uh, gonna make some planks here. Then uh, planks are the basic, same basic recipe as in Minecraft, just one block of wood equals some planks. Um, now I'm gonna see if I can make a crafting table out of these planks. A uh, crafting table is going to be very useful. Um, it's going to uh, give me, just like in Minecraft, it's going to give me the 3x3 three three crafting space that I like, that people like to use to make uh, bigger things. It's going to allow me to make tools and such that I will need later on in the game. So, got this made. Let's stick it there. Place. Come on. Saving. Oh, yeah, the game does have an autosave feature, which is sometimes nice. Alright, so I'm going to see if I can. Oh, come on. Select it. It does have a virtual joystick, which is sometimes not the best feature, but. Uh, it also works relatively well. So here's the recipe book. Uh, in this little book, it's got a record of all our r unlocked and recorded recipes. Um, just kind of tells us how to make things, which is really nice because um, a lot of the time it's hard to find stuff like that. So looking through here, there's lots of different kinds of recipes, magic, uh, there's blocks, items, interactive blocks, uh, weapons, tools, armor, lots of, uh, lots of stuff like that. Um, and if you look at these recipes, there's a lot of unique recipes, uh, if you can see there, up at the top of the recipe book, um, there's a, uh, we can have gemstones in this game, which is, uh, something that's kind of unique to this game, um, and I've heard that the gemstones are luminescent, which is very nice. Alright guys, uh, I think that's all I've got time for today, um, look forward to the next video, let's play block story number two. See you then, bye!